Hi and welcome back to another episode. This one is a bit different to the usual ones. Today I'm going to show you guys a house which is located in the outskirts of the same village as we live in. Our house is basically behind that field over here. So this is walking distance from our place. And the house I'm going to show you today is from the same estate agent that we bought our house and it's namely this one. And I'll show you more of the exterior in a bit and I'll show also tell you why I'll show you the rest of the exterior after we have done some of the tours of the inside. So this is the main entrance to this part of the house and it has been empty for the past two years but it is a fully livable home uh, more or less ready to move into and this is the kitchen bit which is I'd say very traditional Italian and not the very very old traditional Italian but just a normal home and this house is or this part of the house is about 200 and just over 200 square meters big uh, on the um, first floor we have a dining room which is this here and this is the view from the back on this very what is it like a cloudy misty day not very sunny but it's uh, the time of the year and on this floor we have the what was used to be the master bedroom we have a bathroom. I mean, it would need, I guess, some sort of update, but as I said, everything is fully functional and ready to use, even though it might not be up to the standard that some people want, but that's the, depending on what taste you have. But as I said, everything is, ready to move into and I'm sure a lot of the furniture here would be included. So heading upstairs we have a, like a large room which I'd say is about 50 square meters or 500 square feet for those who want uses feet. It's uh, yeah very large room and up here we have another bathroom heading that way we have an office guest room um, and we have well basically a gym which is another bedroom and this is the The view from this room and then we have another bathroom up here also fully usable and a fun fact about this property is that all of this land going all the way down there all the way around here it's possible to buy for another 10,000 euros which is remarkable. It's another 3000 square meters of land. If you ever want to, yeah, I don't know what you want to do with it. With the motocross track or, yeah, you can do whatever you want with that. Um, it's, it's also for sale if the new owner would like that. Uh, Another fun fact with this property is that attached to this house is another piece of house, which I'll uh, show you right now. That attachment is this one. So this one is connected to the house. It's an older house, but this one is registered as an outbuilding. So it's not on the same tax as the livable space so basically this is a magazine 
or a uh, place just to storage basically to store things so going into this part which could be i mean could easily be turned into living space where it's at least a very very good project so this is the first room which is i'd say about six meters of ceiling height it's basically a garage at the moment uh, it doesn't have to be a garage in the future even though it would be great to have a garage here and then we have another room which is basically an old bedroom or used to be an old bedroom in the old part of the house this used to be the old main entrance with a um, hallway and this used to be the old kitchen which could easily be turned into a kitchen again and leading out from this kitchen is a laundry a bathroom which is fully functional as well as basically a storage room it's a bit dark in here uh, but a full-on storage room for whatever things you have and then the best bit is upstairs here is the garage again so if we head upstairs and this is all in the old part the house which is 400 square meters or 4,000 square feet we're still in the old house is this part here which is this room which is beautiful or could be an amazing room and here we have another bedroom Let's see if I can find the light switch yeah still a bit dark but it's a good size room with lovely old ceilings and then let's head out again and into this room which is yeah could be such a great space and the room for laundry which is another beautiful room that could be turned into a beautiful bedroom and this is the view from that room This is the plot of land and over here is the entrance where I parked the car and where I entered and the garden itself is about 1200 square meters and over there in the distance is a shed for storing wood and other things for the garden and basically our house is behind that tree across that uh, field so heading back in again I use the more modern part of the house to live in while working on this as a project because I think this would be an amazing extension to the house and could potentially be a uh, rental piece that you can rent out while you live in the house next door and this is the um, the entrance that goes into the newer portion of the house again which is the livable space of 200 square meters so for tax reason this house is just 200 square meters and the 400 meter square section is not included in the living space which is uh, great, even though it's absolutely livable. Uh, so that's it for the short house tour of this property. I will leave you guys the contact details to the estate agent for this property down below. And I think it's listed for 220. Then there are some legal fees, etc. 
between five and ten thousand euros I guess um, and that should be it so this is the piece of land that could be included in the price for another ten thousand um, euros and I will show you guys some drone shots If anyone is interested in a house in this region, please contact Andrea. And with this region, I mean, uh, this is uh, about 25 to 30 minutes outside of Parma, more or less an hour from Bologna, which is an international airport, and about an hour and a half from central Milan. So it's uh, in the Lombardia region, right on the edge of Emilia Romana, which is the region famous for Parmigiano cheese and Parma ham and so on. And that border is basically one kilometer that way. So I'll leave you guys with that. So if you are interested, contact Andrea below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, ciao. To add a few things about uh, the area. So this village that it's located in the outskirts of has a uh, convenience store, or it actually has two, a small uh, mini market as well. It has two pizzerias, a restaurant, uh, a cafe, or two cafes, three cafes, four cafes. Uh, a few cafes and about six seven minutes that way is another small town which has another four or five convenience stores or even more uh, two gyms um, uh, whatever you can think of needing uh, there's a butcher there's a bakery in this in this in this village as well as numerous in the other one uh, and the region itself is Lombardia. It's about an hour from Bologna, about 25 to 30 minutes from Parma, and about an hour and a half from uh, central Milan, depending on traffic, of course. It could be two hours, it could be less. Um, so that's a little bit about the region. and. I think the uh, house that you just saw is a great project. It has a lot of potential and it's fully livable while working in it, which is amazing actually. And uh, not needing much work at all. Um, I mean, depending on taste, whatever you want to do, you want to change floor tiles or whatever. But the old section of the house is, uh, could be turned into an amazing place. So here we are. Um, if you guys are interested in the uh, property, contact Andrea uh, in the contact details below and I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. Until next time. Ciao!